Howdy everybody, Big Fat Plus, and welcome back to the Big Man Plays Clock Tower. We last left off, good old Scissor Man. Good old little brat Scissor Man showed up. And now poor Jennifer's got to make the escape. But first, there is something I need to acquire first. Also, I forgot to mention last episode, don't use the elevator too often. It will break down. And sometimes Scissor Man will also um, use it because Scissor Man's a douche. So uh, don't use the elevator too often. You can get yourself into a jam, I, I think, by using all the hiding places too much to the point to where um, they won't work anymore. No, don't go that way. I need to get to the storage area here, yes. Because uh, there are two things in the storage area here I need. Oh, that's... Okay, I guess that's not the storage area. Yes, I know. We've already, we've already established this. We can escape right now. But! To get the best ending! We need a particular item. I swear if he's in here, again, I'll be so mad. One of the boxes somewhere around here is... This complex charts and graphs. What's this? Skip number two. There we go. Now somewhere around here is the item I need. Nothing strange aside. I want something I can defend myself with. I'm not here for something you can defend yourself with. It's useful too, but nothing seems useful. This might be useful. Booyah! Oil can. Oil can. Definitely safe. Although it only saves your progress when you from when you just enter the room. It doesn't save any progress you've made in the room. Which is stupid! Anyway, we should be able to leave. I think we have the... Yeah, oh, I, no, wrong door. We're actually, we gotta go to the top floor here, I think. But now we have everything. In order to have the best thing, you have to have that oil, that oil can. If you don't, you're not going to get the best thing. Don't worry, I will go through and not acquire the oil can. I guess it's going to be just like I normally did. It's like, you know, yeah. Of course it will. Because you know me. I'm, I'm a complete imbecile. I plan things. See, that's why I never plan. I, I planned today. I was going to do a big old huge amount of recording. And then the washer kind of went out. The pump went out and everything. Everything went to heck in the handbasket. And by the time I got to recording, it was 8 p.m. So yeah, I'm kind of royally bummed there. So anyway. Emergency ladder? Yes. Looks like a fire ladder. It's locked, so I guess I can't be used in an emergency either. They lock it so kids, annoying little kids can't play with it. Except, we have the key. From way up here, is it safe? Yes! Unlock it, you fool! Whee! I love the echo and the sound, so it's like, it's like she's breathing so hard it's echoing. to the popo and thus we have a scop aid well of course data save why not we've made it we've a scop aid wish i had more save files what in the fuck is going on we had to solve the last case yet and now another mass murder and again, you're saying that the murderer is a monster? Come on! But it's true! I can already see tonight's headlines. Scissor Man is back. Well, whether he exists or not, he should go home now and rest. Yeah, I highlight like that's gonna work. We posted a policeman outside your house. So you'll be safe. Yeah, a policeman ain't gonna do nothing. 
Yeah. Uh, thank you, Inspector. That's Assistant Inspector. Okay. Okay. Jennifer. Helen, it's true. It was the Scissor Man. I know. I believe you, Jennifer. He is just being stubborn. I heard that, Teach. Anyway, if it is him, we have to figure out some way to destroy him. We can do it. Yes. <laughs> what should we do now? Well, we now have an the um what you call the uh interlude part. Well, we were already at the police station. Let's go. Let's go here. I wonder what Nolan is doing. Jennifer, you're sixteen. He's you're fifteen. He's twenty six. He's eleven years older than you. Normally, that's not a problem. But you're fifteen. Helen, slap this child stra uh, straight, please. Slap her straight. This man is the cameraman who was with Nolan. Excuse me, is Nolan here? Uh, hey, you're Jeff. Yes, I am. Is Nolan here? Nolan? He has went to look for you. He is worried about you. Oh, oh, he is? He should be back in a bit, but I don't think you should wait here. Why not? Well, you're hot stuff again. And if the other reporters find you, they'll ask you questions till the cows come home. I suppose you're right. I'll come back later then. I'll leave the back door open for you. So try not to be seen when you come in. Thank you. Well, well, Tim's awful nice. We probably will never see him ever again. Oh, yeah, we will, we will, we will. We just will. I wonder if Edward and Kay were attacked by Scissor Man. People who've never played this game before are going. But they're. Never mind. I know there's no one here. <laughs> I know there is no one here. Oh, I love that. Ah. I know there's no one here. There's no reason to go to the library. Oh, of course there is. There's always reason. I wonder if Helen is here. Is it wise for you just wandering all over the city there, Jennifer? Is it wise? And how are you getting around? You're 15. Is it driving age 15? Do you have a car? Oh, look. And I love how this mask is always there in the background. Just going like... What's up, Matt? How you doing? You know I'm involved, right? If someone just DNA tests me, they find out who the killer is. But, you know, God's never figures that out! And neither has anyone else in this dang game. Oh, hi, Jennifer. You came just in time. Oh, she did? I was just on my way out. Well, where are you going? To dinner, probably, without you. Do you remember that statue? The one they found at the scene of the clock tower? Murder? Uh, yes, what about it? I can't find it anywhere. Professor Barton had it. Uh hmm. -huh. And Professor Barton was called away. On some police business. Do you have any idea where it might be? Yes, I found some telephone numbers. On the professor's desk. One for the library, and one for a man named Rick. I think he must have taken it to one of them. He did mention to me that he would like to get an expert opinion of the statue. I don't know who this Rick person is, though. I see. Anyway, I'll go to the library and see Mr. Sullivan. If the statue is there, I've got to get it. I want anything and everything... Relating to the Scissor Man. Of course. Yes, because the statue is important. Helen, I'll find out who this Rick person is. Maybe Nolan knows something about him. Jennifer. Yes? Who is Nolan? 
Hi. Well, I better run along now. Yes, rim shot there. No reason to go to the library. Let's see, police station. Probably shouldn't bother. Probably shouldn't bother the inspector. We're going back here. I hope no one is there. Is he? Yes, he is. Jennifer, are you alright? Yes, thank you. The police didn't want to tell me much, so I had a hard time finding you. Uh huh. Is there anything I could do? Actually, yes, there is. Do you know a man named Rick? I think he's involved in the clock tower case. I was just going to interview him. Really? He used to be a butler for the Barrows family. I ran into someone who happened to know that. I thought I'd go ask him what he knew about the Barrows family. What about him? Well, Professor Barton might have given the statue to him. Why mention- You mean the one they found at the scene of the murder? Yes. I want every little clue relating to this case. Why? Well, actually, you know the statue why, but... Okay, should I get the statue from him? All right, I'll go see him and get it. Oh, well... Do you want to ask Nolan? Now, again, we're given a freaking choice. We're actually given a fracking choice here. Do we send Nolan to go get it? Let me be sure here. Do we send Nolan to go freaking get it? Or... Do we say no? Let me see. Uh... All right, we sent. We see. Here. We want to go where the statue went. I think. Actually, no. If I want to do this right, I want to not go where the statue is. So, let me see. I said no. So if I say no. The game. Okay. Let's see here. Uh. I said. Dang it. I said no, so that means then it should have... I don't even remember anymore. It's the problem. Let's see. If you say if you like to go to the library later on, say no. Okay, so then I say no here. Because I don't like no one. I don't really want to, so no. Uh, thank you, offering, but Helen is looking for it now. Okay, no problem. If you ever do need help, just let me know. Uh, thank you, Nolan. Scenario 2. So now, we're in scenario two, and we're going to make a save state. Make save here, and then I'm going to make a separate save state uh, later. Actually, no, I'll just play the whole dang game again. Yeah, I didn't bother. <laughs> but let's see here. Excuse me, is Mr. Sullivan in? Mr. Sullivan? He is now in the head librarian's office. I see, thank you. Yes. I'll show Nolan, like, later. Because I, 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 if, I, if I went here and the statue isn't here, then I'm going to not get the best ending. Which means to get the best ending, I'll have to go through Jennifer's scenario again. You'll get to see... I, you know why I hate Nolan! Frickin'. Frickin' unethical punk. 
loud. Oh, would you look who's here? Also, that's a very loud clock. Well, if it isn't Edward, what are you doing here? It's boring at the hotel. Hmm. Is Kay with you? No, she isn't. Oh. No, oh, same thing. That's annoying. Tick tock, 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 tick we're looking for the, uh... I'm sure this is Mr. Sullivan's office. Oh. Hey, Mr. Sullivan, how you doing, man? Mac Daddy, what's going on? Hello, Helen. It's been a long time, hasn't it, Mr. Sullivan? I've heard about what happened to you. How terrible. Yes. We mean what happened to Jennifer. By the way, Mr. Sullivan. Uh, yes, I have heard. There is something you would like to research. I will give you a key to the reading room. So you can use the reference materials as you please. The reading room is right next door. Oh, and... The statue. Oh, yes, that's it. Professor Barton left it with me. I'll say so I did you. I'll give him the best thing. Please come pick it up on your way out. Thank you very much, Mr. Sullivan. Well, either way, I guess I'll be going for the other ending, so... Yay! Now we'll go to the... reading room. Have ourselves a nice little reading room. I can now enter the reading room. Yes, let's get our reading on. Like reading rainbow. Sure enough, it was LeVar Burton was here. Before he was suddenly murdered by the scissor man. The reading room. There are many valuable works here. Only available to university personnel. Oh, that's not nice. Everybody should be able to get it. I just hope there is something here. That will explain the scissor man. Well, let's see. Let's, uh... Explore everything. Doesn't seem to be in this area. Of course not. Step ladder. Remember that for later. This is a book I've been wanting to read for a long time, but this is hardly a good time. Well, then check it out. Read it later. Jeez. See, maybe I can re remove this. No, you're not gonna move. Okay, not until later. Boom, bing, boom, boom, bam, boom, bam. Books relating to England are up there. Yes. Isn't that what you're looking for? Okay, maybe I have to. Okay, there we go. That's some thudding. Lords of Northern England. This is it. Lords of Northern England. Oh, hey, there's the reception. Excuse me, but the library will be closing shortly. Oh, I see. I found a clue about the Scissor Man. I still have to pick up the statue. Yes, because we have to pick up the statue. It's important. We must pick up the statue. But. But. You know it won't be just that easy just to walk over to Mr. Sullivan and go, hey, you got the statue? 
you know, it's never going to be easy. It's never going to be this easy. But what kind of hijinks are we going to have here in the museum? Or not museum, the uh, library? And just how bad is this statue that we got to pick up? Find out next time on The Big Man Plays! Hawk Tower. So that is Big Fatty Plus. Sayonara. And... Who knew that a simple book on the Lords of England would give you a clue as to the whereabouts of the Barrows family in Scissorman? Maybe y'all should be looking up the, the, the family line for Vlad Tepish and see who's related to him. See if, you know, maybe any modern day politicians are related to him and that might explain why things are the way they are today. That is a horrible joke. I apologize. I'm going to go smash myself in the face with a book now.